there is a great asset on the Godot store. Which is called this one, Utility AI GD Extension. Now, it's a series of nodes, and what it does, you can do behavior trees, state trees, and utility AI, along with sensors and all kinds of things, and they all interact with each other. For example, you can have a behavior tree do your high-level AI, the decision-making about where the AI wants to go, and then put a utility AI inside there to zero down and make it more complex in what they decide. I find that pretty amazing. This These utility AIs are kind of like this one, but this is just the C version, C sharp version of it, of this. Uh, it's But it's only doing utility based AI. At least that's what it appears. And while this is awesome, it's also very confusing because there's so much to it. However, they've got multiple tutorials, very simple tutorials, on, and each of these getting started with agent behaviors, getting started with behavior trees, getting started with state trees, they all do the exact same thing, just using the different forms of the AIs. And then they got node query and node query is kind of like a sensor thing that you can add to the AI. Um, that's the extension. They have performance monitors, but the documentation is so great on this. And they have examples that come in a different, uh, a different, it's a different download, but it all works. And I'm using Godot 4.22. You have to use something over Godot 4.13, I think. But what I figured out was after I went through all the tutorials, I'm like, I'm going to start with a high level AI. The only high level AI that, that you can use out of a process, physics process, is state trees. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm lazy, so I'll try state trees. So what it does is I've changed some things, obviously. I put a tile map behind it. Uh, and instead of using an animated Sprite 2D, I just have this chess pawn. But this is what it does. And this is, um, you get closer, they, they back away. You get further away, they get closer. It's kind of like what, how wallflowers are. Um, that... I'll leave that as it is. It comes in two parts. Uh, you do the AI state test with a script. Their scripts, copy and paste it from their GitHub, work as is. I've changed some things because I'm just using, as AI entity, I'm using a Sprite 2D instead of an animated Sprite 2D because I want to do all my tests. Um, this uses 100... I do turn on the frame the frame thing here and it defaults as you're using one entity and so that's that one entity uh, I've tried all three of them at 5,000 entities and this is kind of what you get granted I also only have 16 gigs of memory and I'm running Russian Fishing 4 in the background along with two versions of Chrome. And Chrome is, has turned into a massive resource hog. A thousand seems okay. At 120 frames per second here. And if we go back to the 5,000... We drop down to seven frames, five to seven frames per second inside this window. So I'm curious how this is going to work out for me. I highly recommend if you're looking for an AI, you've got so many options in this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this back down to uh, one instance. 
And then I'm going back to the entity, and that's the chest pawn on the sprite. I'm gonna, I wanna color wreck, or wreck over it. We'll make this kind of gray. Not that gray, not gray. And uh, on the color wreck, I wanna add a bunch of labels. And I'm just going to add a bunch of labels here. And these labels are going to be like, uh, what are you doing? <clears throat> Where's grid snap? There, stop doing that. No, you, you're fine. Don't use grid snap. All right, there. Now you can use grid snap again, and I don't use smart snap. Okay, sure. And what I'm gonna do is be able to turn this label on and off so that I'll have an idea how the AI is working as I adjust and move it. I'm gonna have to change scripts here. The only thing I added for the label was just, um, just grab this. And in the moving closer, just change the text to moving closer. In the moving away, change it to moving away. And so he's moving closer, and now he's moving away. Closer. Ah. And I have to go down to waiting. Ah. Uh. And we'll just change that to waiting. Uh, okay. What happened here? Am I forgetting my own video? Oh yeah, you want percentages. You don't need dollar signs. Oh, Godot. And you get a percentage, and you want a percentage? No, you wanted a carrot? I need a new keyboard. I can't see the, the thingies. And we'll give you your percentage. And maybe this will all work now. Of course it's not going to work. I forgot, I got to make you access this unique name. Now you're all freaking work. Maybe. What the hell? All right, so moving closer, 120 frames per second, moving away, moving away. I want waiting. All right, so I got to fix waiting. Yay. Crap. Waiting, moving away, waiting, moving closer, away, waiting. All right. Uh, if you go into, let's say we want to add another sensor, for example. One thing I don't like is it starts with a U, so it's all the way down. And then finding some of these things. Uh, it's like, okay, so the state tree. Oh, Lord. Uh, close all of this. There is a lot to this. All right. Uh, behavior group, uh, behavior tree nodes. Um, BT is behavior tree. So where is the state tree? AI... You, Behavior is the utility behavior. <sighs> it 
So it's supposed to be in utility AI, a, u, utility AI state tree nodes. Utility AI. Utility AI state tree nodes. There they are. So what you get here is AI entity. It's just the picture, the animation, whatever of your character and is going to be what starts everything. Uh, that's what the script is. If you go to the site, you download it uh, you, and run the examples, you'll understand. And then for the state tree anyways, this root right here, that's the root of the state tree. And then the node is the action of the tree. The distance vector is is what's going to be changing the transitions within the tree. Based on where the mouse cursor is, it's going to transition from one of these states to the other. Uh, but then you build under, think of this as a heading, and then these are the chap or uh, the subheadings, I guess. These are where the, the script goes. It's just I'm moving, and I'm going to move closer, and I'm going to move away. Get into this AI.